All right, so let's go through wedging your clay. So ram's head wedging is the most common wedging that I teach in this room. And why we wedge our clay. When you get clay either from the bucket after it's been pugged or off of the block of clay, your goal is to make sure that all the clay particles are moving in the same direction and you wanna remove any air bubbles. So you take a chunk of clay. This is about a little over two pounds, which is what most of you are going to be throwing with. Come to one of the tables and you wanna draw this hunk of clay into a brick. If you slam it straight down on the table, it's going to do nothing but make a loud noise. So if you hold the clay in your hand and just gently draw it to the side and keep flipping the clay over, you're gonna make a brick. Okay, so now that I have a brick of clay, I wanna look at the ends. On the short sides, it looks like a square. So I'm gonna place this clay so that the long side is facing me, the two short ends are on the side, and I'm gonna split my feet apart so that I am ready for pushing into this clay. So I'm a righty, so I put my left foot in the front, and if you look on the end, it looks like a square. I'm gonna stand the clay up so it's in a diamond. The minute this turns into a diamond, if I let go, the clay is gonna fall away from me. So I'm gonna pull it back up into a diamond and I'm gonna take my four fingers and slide it under the backside of the clay. And by doing so, the palm of my hand is set up for being on this diamond end. So I want the palm of my hand on the diamond and I'm gonna squeeze my hands on the clay and press my thumbs over this front ridge. So now I'm set up, my feet are split apart, and I'm gonna slowly push away from myself. And that's it. So I'm not pushing so hard that I'm smearing the clay. And if you notice, my hands are fully in contact with the clay. So I haven't opened them up at all. Um, my fingertips are still in contact with the base. All I've done is push right here with the fat parts of my thumbs. So now I'm gonna go ahead and stand this back up towards myself. My diamond is starting to change shape, but you'll still understand the point. So if I stand this back up and let it go, it's gonna fall away. So I'm gonna stand it up, slide my fingertips underneath the end, palms of my hand on the side that's the diamond, and squeeze the clay so my thumbs press to this front ridge and push away. I wanna do this about 35 times, and I'm gonna start doing this a little faster so you can see what it looks like. You can see how my hand is pushing into the clay. So I'm gonna stand it up, fingers underneath, squeeze, thumbs on the top, push away. I'm not folding the clay over on itself. It's smushing and integrating back into itself. So you can see how this is called ram's head wedging because it starts to look like Donald Duck with an underbite. This would be where the horns come from. This is the ridge of the snout. So I'm gonna pull back. Now that I've lost the diamond on the end because it's starting to get round, I wanna always be thinking about lifting this up onto its snout fingertips underneath the back, right? If I let go, it's gonna fall. Fingertips underneath the back, and my the palms of my hands are on this part, this part here that's starting to get nice and round. Push away. And I'm pushing with the fat parts of my thumbs right in the front. So I'm gonna do my 35 times. And now I'm going to take some force and pull the clay back towards me to draw it into a tube without adding any air. And pound the clay into a ball or like a teardrop shape. And this is nice and round on the end and there's no creases. This is the spot that will get connected to your wheel head and now we're ready to throw.